Welcome back, this is Montes with Packet Tracer, homework assignment. And this time we're going to do 8.1.2.13. Uh, a little bit of disclaimer. Um, right, this is probably going to be one of the uh, last one I'm going to do for a short while or a long while uh, because I haven't received any more Packet Tracer's for homework assignments. But if you guys want to watch more of these Packet Tracer's homework, I could try to look online. Or if you have a recommendation on a homework assignment that you want to try out, just leave me a link or something like that on my on PN me or something like that. But anyways, yeah, so if you want me to try more of these out, just drop me a, a comment and, and I'll look around and find more of these homework assignments. But anyways, as I say, we're going to do 8.1.2.13 called Packet Tracer Connect Wireless Computers to Wireless Routers. In this homework assignment, we're basically, we basically have very basic um, wireless connections, but it has a low security system. It doesn't have any password connection. So anybody can connect to this uh, router. So this is the router right here. If I click on it, it's not going to give me access to it because it wants us to access it through a computer separately. So you'll see what I mean. Well, I'll click it now. You see, it's locked. Anyways, so in order to connect to that, we have to go through the computers. But here we go. Let's read our objectives and see what we need to do. Objectives. Configure the basic wireless settings on a computer. Configure basic security on a wireless router. Verify full connectivity. So keep in mind we're just beefing up our security systems here and changing the passwords and making sure that the connections still work after doing all that. Introduction. In this activity, you will configure wireless computers to connect to a network via a wireless router. You will configure the basic securities on a wireless router by changing the SSID and password and adding WPA2 encryption. WPA means Wi-Fi Protected Access. So we're going to upgrade from Wi-Fi Protected Access 1 to Wi-Fi Protected Access 2. Uh, wireless Frequency Protection Access also known as WPA. Anyways, uh, step one, connect to a wireless router. From wireless PCA, access a PC wireless under the desktop. Okay, so we go here, PC1. Did I say PCA? No, I said PC1. Anyways, I meant PC1. Uh, so let's access this good looking host right here. All right, and then under the desktop tab. Okay, desktop tab. Uh, access PC wireless PC wireless here we go <coughs> as you can see it's sending a frequency to this little router right here the signal is great the link quality is great all right all right uh, click on connect tab when the default network becomes available click connect to connect to the default network close the PC wireless uh, okay so under connect Let's see. Oh, there it goes, default. All right. And then we could connect. Well, it's already connected, so. All right, default. Close the wireless screen. Okay, we're gonna close this wireless screen. Well, still on the desktop of the PC, uh, verify the connectivity settings. Open the command prompt and type ipconfig command, which is this. So, command prompt, and then we're just gonna copy and paste. Uh, this I can type it in but I'm I'm a little bit lazy right now so let's see uh, control control copy click right click paste enter and this is what it should show up does it show up while still at the uh, compact okay so as you can see it is not very consistent I mean the difference is between is because this is uh, 103 and this is 10100. Note that IP is different because it was dynamically acquired. Ah, okay, yeah, because then that means we have uh, DHCP set up, which is dynamic host uh, protocol DHCP. No, uh, CHP DHCP. Anyways, yeah, so DHCP. Uh, the router has DHCP, so it sends out, um, it labels different computers with a, a IP address so that the, the computer has an actual location in the network. So that's what 
CHP does. Anyways, all right. Uh, close the command prompt right here. We're on D. Okay, step two. We we're done with this part, which is quite nice. Okay, access the wireless router through the web browser. All right. <coughs> On wireless PC one, which we are in right now, browse the a web browser. I mean, cl uh, click the web browser and enter uh, URL one nine two one six eight one one. So that would be. So we go to the web browser, and we're gonna just gonna copy and paste this. So, Control C, right click, paste. Oh, it's asking for our password. Let's see. By default, it usually sets up with a very simple one like admin password or admin admin, so on and so forth. Okay. You will be prompted for a username and password. The default username and password are both admin. So that's a very cheap, weak password that we're going to change in the future. Admin. There we go. You will be prompt with the user. Okay, we got this one. After you have entered the login information, you should be viewing a web page of the wireless router. Hold on, excuse me. Okay, there we go. My bad. Uh, you have you have entered the login information. You should be able to view wireless router. So that we are we are now in the wireless router, which basically we are inside this little device that didn't let us go through originally but we've accessed this <laughs> anyways uh enough tangents let's see step two configure the basic wireless settings let me scroll down a bit so that we can see what's going to happen in the future okay configure the basic wireless settings to start securing the wireless network access the wireless page and change the default network name ssid from default to wireless one okay so wireless page network name Internet setup. Where is network name? Network name. Wireless page. We are on a wireless page. Oh, wireless page right here. Wireless page. All right. And then we're going to change the network name from default to WRS1. WRS1. Oops, that's an exclamation mark. One. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see. WRS1. Scroll down the page and then click save. When the settings are accepted by the wireless router, the request timeout message will appear on the web browser window. Connect to wireless to uh, connect wireless to new WRS1 wireless network. All right, so we're gonna go down, save settings, and it should time out in a few seconds. There we go. Request timeout. Okay, so we are gonna go here. Right click, paste, go. It should go. Does it go? Let's see. Uh, connect wireless to the new wireless network. Uh, PCA to the new network wireless. Oh, yes, I remember. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Uh, connect. So we had to go back. Here's one of the things it's not really um, implied, but we had to go to PC wireless. And as you notice, no association to network. So every time we're going to be doing that, we have to remind ourselves that we have got to go back to the to the wireless settings here. So we have to go connect, refresh, and see if it picks up any signals. There we go. Now we can connect. So we have to do this every single time. And keep in mind that just because we are connected to the router, we don't necessarily have access to the router yet. So, which is why we have to put in the password to connect to the router. I think we still have connection, but that's beside the point. Anyways, all right. Uh, yeah, we are connected now. Okay, enable enable wireless security. So we're gonna back go back to our router again, and we're gonna set up. Uh, no, not that one. We're gonna set up our internet security so it's not admin admin. All right. So right click, paste, go. Admin admin. 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 There we go. We're in. And now, yeah, we reconnect to wire, uh, the wireless router setup and lock in. <coughs> 
navigate to the wireless page. So again, wireless page and select wireless setup uh, security tab. So the wireless security tab is down here. It, it by default gives us the basic settings, but now we're going to wireless security, right? No wireless security. Ooh, this place is not secure. All right, uh, quite obviously. Okay, select WPA2 personal as the security mode. So we're gonna go here, personal. We're not enterprise or other stuff like that. So here, WPA2 personal, done. All right. And then scroll to the bottom of the windows and click save settings. So we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. There's nothing here yet, but we're gonna set this up. Oh wait, well, we forgot a step. Don't forget this step. We just jumped the gun here, my bad. Okay, before we press save, good thing it didn't kick us out because we need this password. ITE password as a uh, passphrase. So we have to go that first. So control copy. Right click, paste. That's gonna be our password. Now it should kick us out because originally it has a higher security password, but it doesn't have any key for the lock. So basically the door is unlocked while we don't have a key. So this is gonna be considered the key in order to enter the security system. So save settings and now we should save and it should kick us out. It looks like it's about to there we go, request timeout. Now, why would you become disconnected from a network again? Because we amped up the security system that now we have our wireless protective access. That means in order to connect to it, we need to put in this password. And at any time we want to pass through the access point between here to the internet, we need to have the passphrase. And that doesn't block other networks, it only blocks the wireless system. This is wireless, wired, and wireless. So we're only setting up wireless security system so far. So that's is why. And if you're wondering what's what's the deal with these spaces, that's because for some teachers, you take an extra blank piece of paper and you write down the answers and then you hand it to the teacher. For my teacher, she doesn't mind, as long as we understand what's going on. And as long as you understand, you can ignore that stuff. Just treat it as a rhetorical question. Anyways. Let's see, step five. Configure wireless PC1 to use WPA authentication. Well, we know the password so far, so we're not permanently blocked out. Okay, so return to desktop and click PC wireless. Okay, so let's exit the browser. PC wireless. We have to go to connect, refresh. Let's see. Wireless, click connect. So we're gonna connect here, but this time because it's it is a security system, right? Select, please select a wireless security method used by your existing wireless network. Well, we can't pick the other two because that's not what it's using. So we're gonna use this one. All right, let's see. Da, 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 da. Enter this password so we can go right click, paste, and a pre-shared key field. Click connect. All right, we are gonna connect. That should give us a connection. If not, yeah, we have connection, so we're connected. All right, uh, let's see, if you click connect, uh, click link information to verify the connectivity at the access point. It's connected, you can see the little wavelengths. Your completion percentage should be at 60%. If not, click results to see which required components are not yet completed. We are at 60% completion. We can also check on it anyway, so we can click results. Uh, let's cancel this. Let's see, activity is not complete. Well, because we're at 60%, obviously. Assessment items, we have the first step completed and the third step completed. We are now going to the next step, which is setting up the PC2. So we can close this down here and we are gonna go to the next step at hand which is, let's see, wireless, oh, we lost our space, okay. Here we go, step six. Configure the web access password. So, reconnect, let's see, let's see, you completed, check results. Okay, reconnect to the wireless router setup page and log in. So we actually need to cl click on this again. Uh, navigate to administration, okay, first things first. We have to go here. And then we have to go to our browser and then we have to scroll back up because we need our 
IP address for the router. So control copy, right click, paste. Go. All right, admin, admin. So right now we're gonna do be doing this. Uh, step. Oh yeah, I thought step five was gonna be de dealing with this, but apparently step six is it gonna be doing? Where will we be dealing with the uh, password to the router? Apparently not. Never mind. Probably in the, oh no, in the last chapter, we were dealing with changing the passwords here. We're going to ignore the, that. My bad, my bad. Okay, admin, admin, admin. Here we go. There we go. All right, so my bad. I did not take in consideration of that. But anyways, we're all making mistakes here. So if you make a mistake, you can always check your instructions to, you know, take you step by step as to what mistakes you did or you can always check on the check results but anyways where were we uh we haven't done any mistakes yet i just misinformed you that's all don't worry about it all right where were we step six okay reconnect to the wireless router setup page and login navigate to the administration tab so administration tab would be here change the default router password to cisco oh yeah we are oh then we are going to change it okay then I take back everything I just said a, second, a few seconds ago. So, oops, what's going on? Enter password. Yeah, we'll enter password. Okay, here we go. Cisco, yes, we are going to change it. So my memory does serve me well. Long-term wise, not short-term wise. Cisco. Hopefully I t typed it right. Hopefully I did. Let me just double check. C-I-S-C-O. C I S E O. Okay. Administration change the default password to Cisco to secure access to WRS1. Note that the HTTP web utility access is already selected by default. Yeah, HTTP. Okay. Uh, when prompted, enter the usernames and so forth. Okay. So say yeah, save settings, and then we're gonna do that. Okay. So there we go. We still need access. If we press cancel, it's going to boot us out. Admin. And then the password is C-I-S-C-O. Successful. Okay. Continue. Okay. We still have access to the computer. I mean to the router. Computer web access password. Oh, yeah. There it is. I shouldn't jump the gun. I jumped the gun once again. Don't worry. All right. Uh, when prompted, use the admin password, Cisco password. When the message setting successful, please continue. All right. We're in chapter seven. We're doing really good so far. We're doing good. Okay. If not, well, you can always rewind and see if we can do it again. All right. Uh, step seven. Change the wireless channel in use. All right. Many access points can automatically select a channel based on the adju adjacent channel use. Some products continually ma uh, monitor the radio space to adjust the change settings uh, dynamically in response to environmental changes. In desktop, you will configure the access point to work on channel 6 using 20 megahertz, that's a megahertz uh, radio band. <coughs> Under wireless tab, navigate to the basic wireless settings. So wireless tab, we're already in the wireless basic settings. Okay, wireless basic settings. Because the client ends are an 802.11 bits B slash G, I don't, I don't remember what this means, but I'll look it up later. Only, the radio band is configured to use a standard negative 20, that's not negative, uh, standard dash 20 megahertz channel. Change the standard to 6-2.437 megahertz and then save ch changes. Should be now be associated as reconnect if necessary. Okay, I think we will have to reconnect. Okay, so let's see. Change it to channel 6. Right, so that's all it's asking. Change, change, okay. Settings and I suspect it's going to boot us out. Yeah, timed out. All right, reconnect if necessary. All right, go here. I should do it. If not, timed out. Okay, stop. Right click, paste. Is it? Oh, 
yeah, uh, reconnect. What we have to do now, once again, if I rem if I said earlier that we have to go back out, go to PC wireless, and we lost connection. So every time there's like something weird going on, you're wondering, it's like, wait, wait, what's going on? That's because you have to go back to the wireless setup here, and you have to go connect, refresh, wait, connect. All right. So so yeah. So this is this thing is kind of um, kind of. A, this setup is a little bit misinformative because it doesn't tell you that you need to go back to the internet wireless and I have to click on again. So where's the password? The password is ITE password. So ITE password. Right? Password. Connect. And that should do it. We are now connected. And then we can go back and go to web browser. So yeah, so keep in mind, we're gonna do this probably a couple of times because every single time we change some weird setting here, it will disconnect us from the system, not only by the security system, but our wireless connection. So we have to have our little wireless little antenna, which is this little thing that's connected, to have to find the wireless connection all over again. All right, right here, paste, go. Now we have access. Admin tab Cisco Enter. There we go. Yeah, there we go. All right, we are back. Where where were we? I lost connection. Oh yeah, here we go. So connect now as a reconnect if necessary. Last step: connect wireless PC2 to the network. In this setup, you will configure wireless PC2 to uh, WPA2 personal authentication so everything that we did on the PC one did all the heavy work all the legwork now PC 2 is gonna all do all the light work with that being said we can close this you can close this right click or left click whatever the case may be and now we're gonna go to wireless PC 2 so click on wireless PC 2 and this is gonna be easy peasy okay click wireless PC 2 and connect to wire, uh, wire WRS1 Wireless Connect. In order to do that, we have to go to desktop. We got to go to PC Wireless. We have to go to connect. Refresh. It automatically does refresh, but we can refresh it manually. And the signal is 99%. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Anyways, and then we are connect. You can see the inf information there. Security WPA2 PSK connect. Now we go to here, and we are going to put in the past the passphrase, which is ITE, right? Yeah, ITE, ITE password. Connect. Is it connected? It is connected. All right. Uh, click on link information tab to verify connectivity to the access point. So we are finally uh, connected. So keep in mind, there's a few steps here and there that we'll have to run back to to do this. But if you did it all well, great. Let's see. Your completion percentage should be 100%, which is this. If not, check uh, results to see which required components are not yet completed. We're going to check anyways, even though we have completed it, just to prove that we have completed every step of the way. There we go. So we did uh, the PC one, we did the password changes, and then uh, we have the pa password system set up for the PC two. And there you have it. Here we go. We're done with our homework assignment for this semester. If you like this, uh, these videos, leave a comment, description, some motivation, some suggestions, anything that you like. Check out my other videos that I posted up. Um, yeah, and if you have some suggestions and so forth, etc. You know the drill. I guess that's about it. I'll see you next time, hopefully, with more packages. This is actually quite informative and quite fun to work with. This kind of reminds me of Uplink in some ways, uh, although this is a more technical, more complicated version than Uplink. Um, and yeah, so anyways, I'll see you later. Hope you have a good time. And, and anyways, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.